Hi folks, so this is my SSD upgrade. As you can see, this is my trash can Mac Pro 6.1. I bought this about three years ago. It's a second hand unit. I upgraded the unit to a 12 core with 128 gigs of RAM. Unfortunately, one of the sticks was faulty, so it's now down to 96 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD, which is fairly good. And this is great for what I use it for, which is mostly for business apps. I do a little bit of video work as well, and that one terabyte gets filled very, very quickly. Instead of going out and buying myself a brand new M2 or M1 Mac Mini or one of these Mac Studios, I decided that I want to squeeze as much as I can out of this unit. I'd like to sort of utilize product as long as I can before I have to throw them out. So this is a great piece of kit. It's fantastically engineered. I love the form factor. I think there's more life in this yet. What I decided to do was upgrade the internal SSD drive to a two terabyte drive, which is this one from OWC. It's totally compatible with this Mac. It has the PCIe interface here. So it should just go in and there should be no problem. All I'm gonna be doing is upgrading that. Now the other thing I wanna talk about as well is as well as upgrading the internal SSD, I wanted to get some external storage and I have Thunderbolt ports on this Mac. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. There's six ports here. What I wanted to do is to get more space for my video work. I decided that I wanted to get myself a Thunderbolt 2. These are Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter, which you can buy from Apple, which I did buy. I've got one of those. And then find myself an enclosure, which will take two of these drives they're one terabyte each and this is a thunderbolt 3 interface this will then go to the adapter which will then convert it to thunderbolt 2 which will then go into here so this is the unit it's really well made it's made of aluminium really beautifully engineered it's very simple i mean you just stick the sticks in here there's a little catch here so it is actually you don't need a screw for this there's a little catch that you spin that and it locks it into place. Yeah, you just simply put that in here like this. Bring that out and stick that in here and close it up. And bang, it's done. There it is. Beautiful, nice little portable drive, which is Thunderbolt 3. They also provide a, a rubber casing for it, which you can then stick this into here. That just keeps it nice and snug for when you're transporting it around. The only downside of this thing that I found, with it has a power supply as you can see here. It's not powered through the Thunderbolt 3 interface. It is powered by an external power supply, which is actually quite a big brick. It's actually bigger than this unit. So the whole thing does get a little bit hot, but it's still very usable. And the other beauty about this is that I can expand the storage inside here by just simply changing the NVE drives from one terabyte to four terabytes or even eight terabytes. So there's plenty of expansion capabilities. And this only this unit only cost me 150 bucks. Changing the internal SSD drive here is very simple on the Mac Pro trash can. There's a little switch here. You can see here, there's a little lever. It's a lock mode at the moment. Just unlock it and then you just pull the whole thing out and that's it. It's time to take it out. I'll just give you a little bit of a tour of this unit. Like I said, it's beautifully engineered. There's two sticks here for RAM on this side. There's only one stick at the moment because the other stick was faulty. That's the 32 gigs. So if we turn it around, there you go. This is the, this is the drive that we're gonna change in a second. Then we have the graphics cards here, the D300s, and then there's two sticks here as well. I have taken this unit apart. It's quite easy to dismantle. There's screws here and the top and at the bottom. It's not that difficult because I upgraded this myself to a 12 core and uh, it wasn't that difficult to do, to be honest. So let's just take this drive out. It's very simple. It's just one Allen key here. It comes out like this. So we'll just take it out. It's very, very simple. It just pops out. There you go, there, there it is. That's the Apple one terabyte drive. Simply pop this one in here and just line it up. And there it is, it's, it's in. Just make sure it's all fully lined up. It's keyed properly. And then we simply put a screw in there. And they provide you with a screw as well when you buy this, this memory. They provide you with the screw end because it's slightly different from the one that's already in the machine. 
we simply just tighten that up and we're ready to go now the other thing is software migration it's quite easy what i did was i use a software called carbon copy so what i did was before i did this change i actually set up this unit first and then i did a carbon copy which makes a, a duplicate copy of your whole drive and makes it bootable so then i copied it booted up from the external drive after i put this unit in and then copied it back using carbon copy from the external drive to the internal drive which also made it bootable and that was it so the whole process took about 30 minutes well 30 minutes to transfer one almost well 800 gigabytes to the external drive and then from the external drive another 30 minutes so about an hour to do the transfer and you can see this take a few minutes to actually take this off and put it in that's only a few minutes the time to transfer the data will took the longest but the actual upgrade is very simple as you can see so if you guys have got one of these units and you want to do an upgrade i suggest you get the pcie drive rather than the mve m2 drives which you have adapters for because this had an adapter in it but you don't get the same transfer speeds and uh, that's what i figured out so if you guys want to do this go ahead and do it this is going to give me at least another couple of years of uh, use out of this unit before i have to you know use something else i'm going to keep this anyway even when i sort of buy myself another video editing machine i'm going to keep this as a virtualization environment it's got 12 cores in it it's got lots of ram and lots of ssd i can actually create a really good server which has virtualization on it with like proxmark or something like that so i'm not going to throw it away because it's beautifully built it's going to last me a long time the components are still in very very good nick let's put the lid back on here and let's get this spun up yeah, it's going to go in there like that bang and then just close up that's it it's ready for action now i've already done the copying so all i have to do is plug it in and bang it's going to be up and running so i hope this video was useful to, uh, this give you some ideas if you want to keep using your old equipment without having to throw it out catch you in the next one cheers